Yo, yo, what's going on, Mini Chat fam? Ryan here, and uh, I just want to say what's up. Um, I just made this post uh, yesterday about, you know, I want to help people out with their needs and post, you know, some free videos here in the group. Um, so today I decided I'll choose uh, Anna first. Uh, she has some trouble with the Google Sheets integration, so we'll go over that and dive right into it. So first things first, we're going to need... Um, I built out this flow already, so it's not so long of a video of you watching me build a flow. Um, but first things first, you want to go to your settings integrations and you want to integrate your Google Sheets account. You just type in, you know, your, your Google Sheet data, your login stuff, and it'll connect it there for you. And then we're going to go over here and, you know, you can do three different things with this Google Sheet action. You can insert a new row. You can update an existing row, or you can just get get a row by a value to bring back the data from that row, and then you use that in your in your flows. Uh, so basically, we're gonna jump right in, and let's go to here. This is my inserting row one. As you can see, I got my Google Sheets here with just a simple ID, a name, and a favorite food. So we're going to be asking them, you know, what's your favorite food? We're going to store it to a fave food custom field. And then we're going to do this insert row action. I'll just do it a new one here so you can see this part. Uh, basically, you pick Google Sheets action, which will appear once you integrate your sheet. Again, you have these three options you can choose from. And remember, it only does 250 requests request every 100 seconds. Everything above that limit isn't going to be processed and it might affect your automation. So Basically, the if you're if you're sending mad traffic through these Google Sheets, you're gonna want to basically every time somebody uh, hits that action, you want to increase you know a custom field by one, and then you want to you know well I actually it's before right before they hit that action, you want to increase the custom field by one, and then you want to check that by a condition and say hey is that 250 or less or I mean 250 or more. If it is, you probably want to wait and do a delay before you send the next uh, the next request. Anyway, that's a different video. So this one, we're going to be inserting a row. You want to find your spreadsheet. We're going to do this Google Sheets example here. And then the actual worksheet, you need to pick sheet one. So as you can see, this is the Google Sheets exa example, sheet one. And then you're just going to map your data. So we pick that sheet one. What is our ManyChat data that we want to store into the Google? And then you know which column it is because they let you know by your labels here. So you want to make sure you label that. Um, and then for their ID, I'm just going to use user ID. Uh, it's a unique value that uh, is unique to each user. We'll put their, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll put their name in there. And then we'll insert that custom field fave food. So now we're going to save this. Let's publish this. Oh, I got this random row here. Let's delete that. Uh, we can also delete this first one here. Let's publish again. And then let's preview this. So we're going to be getting a message now. What is your favorite food? Let's say mine is pizza. So now you look on that Google Sheet and instantly my ID's in there, my name and my favorite food. Uh, so we accomplished easily what we needed to accomplish. Uh, the insert and row is probably the easiest one. I mean, they're all pretty easy, um, but you just, you know, pick the data that you're putting in the correct columns and that's basically it. Now for the next one, let's do a getting a row by value. So this is just a little, little quick example I thought of the, you know, would you like to see your food choice again? Uh, it's just a simple button and then we're going to grab the row um, by a value. But I wanted to show you that uh, it's actually grabbing the, the information by using a different custom field than fave food because I could have just pasted fave food there and it would have showed you. Um, but we go in here to my audience and you see I have fave food, but I don't have that fave food reminder. That one's actually blank. Fave food reminder is not set. And we're going to go here. So basically, now we're going to get a row by value. So we're going to come here. We are going to a Google Sheet action again. We're going to get a row by value. Again, we got to 
pick that spreadsheet. We got to pick the actual worksheet. And then now we have to find a lookup column. So what column are we looking this, this row up by? And again, I use that ID as a unique uh, identifier because it is unique for everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically we're going <clears> to, <throat> the column we're using to look up is the ID and what is the value that we're looking up? Again, it's going to be their user ID because that's what we stored on there. Now what this is doing is it's bringing back all of this information from Google for you. So the, the value that's in this column, this column, and this column. And over here, it's where you can store this data if you want to use it, uh, you know, accordingly. So basically, we look this up and, and they want to find out what favorite food that they chose. So we're going to bring this one back, uh, the data that's in this column. But again, I'm going to, I'm going to store it in fave food reminder so you can see that it actually did bring back that data. And let's get rid of that. And, you know, we got the fave food reminder. So let's publish this. And let's preview. And we're going to get message here now. Would you like to see your food choice? Let's hit yes. And it's going to bring back pizza because that's what we have here in the sheet under our favorite food column. And then we can even check our audience here. And we can look now fave food reminder is pizza because we did, uh, we did bring that back correctly. And now for the last thing is to update row. So let's change it to over here. And then we're going to say, hey, what is your new favorite food? Uh, say so they changed their mind. And we're going to store it to that fave food column. And then we're going to come here and we're going to update a row. So again, Google Sheets action. The action is updating a row. Again, we have to pick the correct spreadsheet and the correct worksheet. And again, we got to know which row that we're updating. So we have to have a lookup column because first you need to find the row before you update it. So again, we're going to be looking up by their user ID. And this time it says, what many chat data are you sending into these Google columns? So now the ID is going to be the same, their name is going to be the same, but their favorite food is what is changing here. So we're going to, you know, whatever we stored their new favorite food to, we're going to, you know, insert that data here. And we're just going to save. Uh, we can, you know, delete the old one. Let me publish this here. Preview. You can see it's pizza. What is your new favorite food? Let's say it is now tacos. And we can come up here and you see it switched already to tacos. My audience is tacos this one is still pizza because you know we didn't we didn't look it up again um, but you see tacos is my favorite food it changed up here on the sheet if we want to come in here and double check that this one still works let's say what is your favorite food choice let's preview that and we'll get the new one now instead of pizza it'll come back and hit us with the tacos and there you go the tacos the new change so as you can see, it's it's not too difficult um, to insert a row, grab a row by value, or even update a row. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys. I think I'm gonna end it there. That's all I really wanted to accomplish. Um, let me know if this helped you guys, if you want more videos. And Anna, let me know if this is, uh, is kind of what you wanted. I Pretty sure this is what you were having trouble with. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.